Since introducing the first pre-insulated tubing in 1962, Decaron Unitherm has focused on one business, tubing bundles. This concentration on a single product line has helped Decaron Unitherm to set standards of excellence in the tubing bundle industry. Our dedicated manufacturing facility, located in Cape Coral, Florida, enables us to meet the demands of the hydrocarbon processing, chemical, and power industries. Our broad product offering includes pre-insulated tubing for glycol or steam systems, steam trace tubing for protection against freezing, utilizing steam or glycol as the heating medium. Our electric trace tubing bundles are used in instrument lines, small diameter process lines, and impulse lines. Decaron Unitherm also provides specially designed heated sample lines and probe support bundles used in air pollution monitoring and control systems. In this chapter, we are going to cover the steps required to perform the electrical terminations on your electric traced tubing bundles. All of the components and heat tracing utilized are from Raychem. Please ensure that you follow the current manufacturer's instructions that come with the components. The first step is to confirm that the components utilized have the appropriate approval ratings for the country and area you are installing them in. We will briefly cover the required steps to properly seal the tubing bundle with a heat shrink boot. Slide the shrink boot down over the heat tracing and shrink into place. A properly sealed bundle will eliminate moisture ingress into the bundle. Let's look first at the JBS100A power connection kit for providing power to the heat tracing. The following components are found in the kit. One stand, one core sealer, one green and yellow tube, cable lubricant, one cable tie, one lid, and one box with a terminal block. Allow approximately 24 inches of heating cable for installation. Cut off heating cable end at about 45 degrees for easier insertion. With label on stand facing desired direction of box opening, push heat tracing through the bottom of the stand. Insert 18 inches of heating cable through stand. Use cable lubricant if needed. Square off cable end with a 90 degree cut. Mark the outer jacket at 7.5 inches. Lightly score outer jacket around and down as shown. Take care not to cut the metal braid below the jacket. Bend heating cable to break jacket at score, then peel off jacket. Push braid back to create a pucker. At pucker, use a screwdriver to open braid. Bend heating cable and work it through opening in braid. Mark inner jacket at 6.5 inches. Lightly score inner jacket around and down as shown. Peel off inner jacket. Cut and remove all fiber strands. Score and remove center spacer. Remove any remaining fiber material from bus wires. Pull the braid tight to make a pigtail. We have shown the procedure for trimming back the Raychem XTV heat tracing product. A different procedure must be followed with alternate heating cables. Shown here are the VPL, the BTV, and the XTV heat tracing products from Raychem. If needed, retwist and straighten bus wires, then insert into the guide tubes as shown. Firmly seat the cold core seal onto the heat tracing. Make sure the bus wires do not kink, bunch, or cross over. Remove plastic guide tubes and trim exposed bus wires to half inch. Install yellow shrink tubing over wire braid. There is no need to shrink down the tubing. Pull heating cable back into stands so one inch is exposed as shown. Use cable lubricant if needed. Using the provided cable tie, fasten the stand to the tubing bundle as shown. 
trim excess cable tie. Now we are ready to install the junction box onto the completed stand. Insert the wires through the box opening. Screw box onto stand until it stops. Do not over tighten. Insert cable tie through slots on stand and box and tighten firmly to prevent box rotation. This kit uses spring clamp style terminals. To connect wires, firmly insert a slotted screwdriver into the square hole to open the spring. When fully inserted, the screwdriver will lock into place, allowing you to remove your hand and insert the wire into the round hole. Remove the screwdriver to clamp the wire. The wire is held securely against the bus bar. Repeat this process for all connections. You can now follow the same procedure for attaching all power supply wiring. Attach outer cover as a final step. Let's take a few minutes to review the terminating of the heat tracing at the other end of the tubing bundle. The E150 is a cold applied, low profile, and seal. It is designed for use with Raychem brand heating cables. It is approved by FM, the CSA, and the PTB for use in hazardous locations. The E150 kit contains one end seal enclosure housing, one sealing grommet assembly, one sealing boot, and one identification label. Allow approximately 12 inches of heat tracing for proper termination. To aid in installation, cut the end of the heat tracing to a 45 degree angle. Slide on the lower portion of the enclosure housing. Next, slide the sealing grommet onto the heat tracing as shown. Trim heat tracing to a 90 degree square end. We are now ready to trim the jacket and braid back to accept the end seal. Cut and remove the last one and a quarter inch of the outer jacket. Remove outer braid. Slide on the sealing boot over the end of the heat tracing as shown. Install end boot firmly over the end of the XTV heat tracing. Slide gland and base close to the end cap. Install end cap and tighten to base. Once the cap is installed, also take care to tighten strain relief screws on the side of the base. Utilizing fiberglass tape, fasten the completed end seal back to the tubing bundle as shown. As in all installations, all local plant and regulatory codes must be followed. In addition, plant safety policies must be strictly adhered to. This training chapter is only an overview of the common applications. Please contact Decaron Unitherm for detailed product information specific to your application.